You want to get into FPV, you don't know what goggles to get, well stay tuned because this there has never been a more important video for you to watch than this one right here. G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today, well, this is it. This is the most important video you might ever see. If you want to get into FPV, getting your goggle choice is absolutely essential. It's how you connect with the drone, it's what you see through, and it's what absolutely, in my mind, shapes your experience and what your flights are going to be like. Now, today, this is a big one. This is one that's come up a lot. I've put a lot of hard yards in. I've done a lot of research. I mean, I've got stats, spreadsheets, interviews, emails a whole bunch of stuff. We're gonna be finding out what's the best FPV goggle you can get for under 300 bucks and the head-to-head, -head, or I should say the battle royale between the new Fat Shark Attitude V5s, the Skyzone O2Xs, O2Cs, and the Omway V1Ss. Now we're gonna break these down, sort of look at their features. We've got things like the comfort, screen size, the brightness, the light leakage, reception, usability, OSDs, modules, customer service, all the extras they come with, antennas, battery options. There's like so much information to go through and that's gonna be critical. You need to watch this video if you're going to make a purchase, let me tell you, this is the video for you. And I'm also going to put a little playlist here, specifically when we reviewed all three of these goggles. So you can go check that out up there. But let's kick it off, do a head-to-head, -head, and I guess as an overview, three goggles, they're all coming in at under 300 bucks, which seems to be the sweet spot in our hobby. Now, first and foremost, we've got the Fat Shark Attitude V5s. I think they're $299. All these will be linked down below. And Fat Shark, they've been in the game for a long time. They've been making some top-notch goggles. They used to be the king, in my opinion, on sort of the goggles that were coming out. Then we had some newcomers. Uh, Skyzone is another company that has been around for a long time, but they're not as well known. They're not as they haven't been as popular in the past as the uh, the Fat Sharks used to be. These bad boys though are absolutely making names, and Skyzone's been around for a fair while as well. And something I used an awful lot last year that was the Onways, and these bad boys are coming in. I think it ridiculously cheap. So uh, these ones for the price, they might be like two thirty or something like that. So check the link down below. And Onways, they are uh, they were an extremely good goggle when they came out as well. Oh, and I should also say the Sky Zones, I never tell you the price, they are about the 265 mark. So we're going from 299, 265 to maybe 230 or 235, something like that. So there actually is a price difference between those. Now, if the price isn't relevant to you too much, we'll definitely stay tuned because now let's break them down feature by feature. I'm going to put a little tally somewhere. Where's this going to be? Maybe up here in the top of the screen where we can go through and talk about each bit and give it a score. And ultimately, uh, they're going to get a ranking and find out which one's best. So first things first, we're going to talk about the comfort. Now, the comfort of the Fat Sharks, I'm going to say, is about a 7 out of 10. Now, I find that is because of the weight. They're not the most comfortable goggle on my face. And look, this is just my face, and we're going to get other pilots' opinions as well. But uh, the comfort on here, I'm not a real big fan of the biggest faceplate they have on these things. They seem a little bit too large for me. And uh, with the extra weight, and especially when you put the battery on the side, the extra weight from all this combined, I feel like can weigh down a little bit on your face. And when something is sitting on your face all day, you want it to be as comfortable as possible. Now, moving on to the Sky Zones, the O2Xs and the O2Cs. I'm going to say both of those because there's two versions. There's the O2Xs, which have a front camera and uh, the 3D functionality, but if you don't care about that, you just want the O2Cs, well, they're going to be exactly, they're exactly the same shape and feel and everything else is the same anyway. Now, now these ones I feel do fit better on my face when I, look, I don't know if that's just me, but the way they hug my face and my eyes and maybe I've got a big nose or something on here, but they fit my face very, very well. And, and I'm going to give these an 8 out of 10 because look, they've still got a big faceplate on the front, which will help when we talk about light leakage, but uh, I do find them more comfortable in my experience over something like the Fat Sharks and especially too because you run your battery when we talk about the battery options the battery from this one actually gets powered off a long lead you can put in your pocket so they're even lighter and then though in the comfort factor we have to talk about these ones and I'm going to give the Onway V1S's for comfort, they're getting about a 9 out of 10. And the reason is simple. You put the battery at the back of your head, and I do prefer the one that goes in your pocket, but the battery's at the back of your head right here, and they are extremely light. There's not really a huge faceplate on here. They're ridiculously light, and when you're wearing them all day, it's you're not going to get any marks on your nose or anything like that, which, look, I can notice, and a lot of these are my opinions, I can notice that when we're talking about the Fat Shark. So the Onways are the winner when it comes to comfort. Now, moving on. We're going to talk about screen sizes. The scores in here are all very, very similar. So I've got the uh, Fat Sharks, which uh, look, they're a four by screen, four by three screen ratio in there. I'm going to say the screen size on these, I gave a seven out of ten. And all of these goggles are between the 30 and the 32 degree field of view. You don't need the world's biggest field of view to fly around and have fun. If you're into racing, often my my personal experience and my preference is 
If the screen's too big, it can be too distracting when you're looking around. So I think 30 to 32 degrees is the sweet spot. And luckily, that's where all these goggles fit in. Now these ones, because it's a four by three, I gave it like a seven out of 10 in terms of the field of view. It didn't feel, I would like it maybe to feel a little bit bigger, not too much. The, the Sky Zones, on the other hand, I felt like they were absolutely the sweet spot where I want in terms of the size of the screen. They get an eight out of 10. They're also a 16 by nine. And that's the same for the Onways as well. So they're a 16 by nine. They've got a 32 degree field of view. So on the, on the they get an eight out of 10. So as far as the screen size, we've got uh, Fat Sharks, seven, and the other two both get eight. Now let's move on, talk about the clarity of the image. So when you're looking through the goggles, how clear are the pixels in there? How detailed is it? Is there any shimmering? You know, is it just a nice image to look at? A lot of that comes down to, it's not just the resolution as well. So on this side, we've got the Fat Sharks. They're gonna get an eight out of 10. They've got o OLEDs in there, in their little screens. And I'm gonna say it is a very, very sharp image. It's not the highest resolution, but they do a fantastic job and you can really see some of those ghost branches and those little fine details. These goggles, I think do a fantastic job for the price. And that's exactly the same to be said with the Sky Zones. They've got a very high resolution screen in here. It looks great. And we'll talk about the brightness as well where this thing absolutely excels. The Sky Zones between these two, I really can't pick. Both of the images in terms of the clarity when you're looking through them are absolutely fantastic. And then we have the uh, Omways over here. And these ones, they only get a six out of 10 for me because I feel like things in here, they're a little bit fuzzier. They're not quite as clear and I don't know, for me, when I'm looking through these current version of Onways versus the other ones aren't just quite as clear. So these ones only get a six out of 10 on that regard. And then that brings us on talking about those screens as well. What's it like when you're looking at the image? Not only is it clear, is it bright, is it vibrant? How do the colors look? All that sort of, like what's it actually, you, if you're gonna watch a movie or a cartoon, you want it to look bright and colorful. If you reduce all that color, it's it's not gonna be as fun. It's not gonna be as exciting. And so the Fat Sharks on that regard, I actually felt like the image was a little bit dull. It wasn't as bright as I wanted it to be. It did didn't make my cameras look quite as nice as some of the others, so that's only gonna get a seven out of 10. It's the same for the Onway Commanders. The colors felt a little bit lackluster in here as well, looking through them, a little bit cooler. I didn't quite like it as much. So those two get about a seven out of 10 each. And this is where I feel like the, uh, the brightness on these ones is, I don't know, it's like cranking the brightness of a projector all the way up, it looks great. The Sky Zones, I gave a nine out of 10. So when it comes to actual brightness and the, the colors and the contrast and all that sort of stuff, these ones absolutely excel. And I don't know if that's just got something to do with the high pixel count that this has as well, but I think these are an absolutely beautiful goggle to look through. Moving on, we're gonna talk about light leakage. Now, uh, this is where you can see the bigger face plates on both of these that we touched on before. The bigger face plates right here, they're gonna come into a lot of effect. They're gonna stop a lot of sun coming through. Looking through here, you can see the dark colored plastic, I guess, is also going to help on this bad boy. It's also meant it's gonna get a little bit hotter, but I gave the Fat Sharks an eight out of 10, a very similar sized face plate on here so these ones get an 8 out of 10 and light leakage means when you're looking through it how much light is coming in through the side that's not actually coming out through the screen so is there any gaps under your nose is there things sort of sneaking in there and that can be distracting yes some people can look past it but if you can eliminate it and remove that from the equation these two do a very very good job so they both get 8 out of 10 in terms of light leakage I did get a tiny bit sometimes coming through uh, like just the smallest crack these aren't perfect sometimes on my nose when I need to shift it around I get the tiniest bit and on this one, uh, just over here, if you don't have an antenna on, sometimes you might get a little bit of light leakage or something, just where, it, like, not light leakage, but you can see a slight shine through the plastic ever so slightly. But both of these get an eight out of 10. The Omways, on the other hand, they actually, look, they're, they're still pretty good. They still have a faceplate on here, but the other two got eight. These ones only get seven and a half. So I feel like maybe because the faceplate isn't quite as big and it's always gonna depend on how well does it fit your face. So this one, I feel like just on the outer sides, just ever so slightly and across if I raise my eyebrows up, you can get a tiny, tiny bit of light leakage. But overall, I would be happy with any three of these goggles in terms of light leakage it's much for muchness but if i had to pick for light leakage it would be between these two moving on and look this is an important one we're going to be talking about reception with the standard modules that come in here and we will be talking about module upgrades later on in the video so the reception as it stands with uh the fat shark attitude whatever the module is that comes with the attitude v5 i gave an eight out of ten it's uh it can get all the channels all that sort of stuff it's fairly standard um, I did find it a little bit slow, which we'll talk about in the usability of the thing. Uh, and it's pretty much what you would expect. Nothing amazing. It's not doing any of the, the dual diversity stuff like the rapid fire or anything like that. It's just a standard diversity receiver. It is nice that it's built in. 
Uh, but you do have the option of this one, which we'll talk about as well later, of upgrading it. The, on, the Onway Reception, this one I absolutely have to slam. I really wasn't a fan of this one as much, and I'm only gonna give it like a five out of 10. So the reception in here, I felt like it was kind of, look, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't as good as the other ones. The times have changed, and these used to be amazing, and back in 2018 they were, but now in 2019, I feel like these two are performing better. The reception of the Sky Zones, and this really was apparent when Cal was flying them around. The reception he was getting paired with his XJB, paired with these, and you can go watch the full video, you know, in those links. You can see just how, I guess, long range he's flying with these, and they do an amazing job. So these ones, they get a nine out of 10. So it's eight for the Fat Sharks, nine for the Sky Zones, and only a five for the Omways. I'm sure that's gonna upset some people, but but, you know, that's, it is, it is what it is. And then finally, the last bit before we break it down and look at the scores, we're gonna have a look at the usability. And now usability means when it's on your face, how quickly can you cycle through it? How intuitive is it? I guess, how easy is it to get it to do what you want? And most of this comes with the OSD, the on-screen part, when you're changing channels, all that sort of stuff with the menus. How well does that work when you're recording DVR? All that sort of stuff. And I'm gonna say, for the Fat Sharks, they get a seven out of 10. They're definitely not bad. I don't really like the rocker switch on the top. That kind of annoys me. I do feel like it's a little bit fiddly. I'm worried about it if it could potentially break. And the module on here, well, I don't find it, it's kind of slow. You've got to press and like watch it scan. And look, it's just not the best experience. It's not bad. It's still more than usable. If you don't fly in race environments where you're changing channels all the time, that might not bother you too much. So they get a seven out of 10. The Omways, they actually only get a six out of 10 because I find these goggles are the most frustrating when I've got to hold and press that button. So look, I know there's no rocker switch and that might be a plus or a con for some people. So I do like there's no rocker switch, but you got to press this button. And I mean, it's like beep. This is, this would be change channels. Channel, 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 channel. Now let's say you want to change band. It'll be beep. Beep. So if you've got to change from like A3 to D1, you're gonna be on the goggles for a little while. Like it's, that's kind of frustrating. I'm, I, maybe I'm just impatient, but changing through on these bad boys is a painfully slow experience. I know it's a first world problem. And the Sky Zones, anybody who's used Sky Zones can tell you the OSD menu is it's just so fast. If you wanted to change that, it's literally, you've got your band and your channel buttons on the top, maybe that's in the roof cam, and it is like this. Band, uh, channel, 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 band, 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 like as fast as you can press the button, that's how fast that cycles through. I really like that. And look, there is a lot more buttons on the top of this one, and it is gonna take a bit of a learning curve, but if the, you're only, you sh most people shouldn't be buying multiple pairs of goggles anyway. Once you've got your pair, you'll learn how it works. It's not rocket science, and, and I'm a huge fan of just how easy it is to cycle through the channels, and also that comes into like the DVR setting. So on here, I love it, you can press a button. The OSD completely clears on here when you're flying around. So when you're flying around on here, there's no OSD on the screen, it's not gonna be annoying or anything like that, but if you wanna check something on your OSD, press any of the buttons and it'll bring up everything. Is it recording, your channel, your band, your, your signal strengths of your receivers, all that sort of stuff comes with one. Any press of a button, it'll flash the OSD on the screen. These ones, well, I guess recording the DVR on here can be a pain. You've gotta hold it to put it into standby mode hold it again to enter like, okay, now we're actually recording. I don't know why it's got that two stage recording part, so that's why I got that bit of a lower score. And the Fat Sharks, well, they're, they just do everything that the Sky Zones do, just a lot slower, so I don't know. So that's why those three scores, I feel like that's an important one, usability, and especially for me when I'm always changing channels, it, it's great. Sky Zones absolutely smash it with a 10 out of 10. Fat Sharks get a seven out of 10, and the Onways, they only get a six. Now with all those scores said and done, hopefully my maths is gonna be correct because I'm gonna put some a total on the screen right now. And uh, there we're looking at for the Fat Sharks, coming in at $299, they're getting a 52 out of 70. So 70 would be a perfect score if it was 10 across the board. So they're getting a 52 out of 70. The uh, Sky Zones, they're a little bit in front. I gave them a 60 out of 70. So a very, very good quality goggle. Very comparative to the Fat Sharks, but where I think they went out was a little bit when it came to screen brightness. And they also picked up three extra points when it came to the usability function. And then coming in at third place at 49 out of 70, or sorry, 48 and a half, I should say, out of 70. That's where we've got the Onway V1Ss. And now keep in mind, they might be on special for like the 230 something dollar mark versus the $300 or the $260 mark. So if you've only got so much money, 
Definitely don't think that these are a bad goggle. I just think the other ones are better. But for the value wise, well, we're, it's kind of uh, up to you on how much your money's worth to you, how much you have to work for that to make those dollars. And that's still a very, very good option. If you gave me this, I was flying with the goggles like this for pretty much all of last year. So don't think that they're a bad goggle. I just feel like the other two are better and the Sky Zone is coming out on top if I had to pick between the Fat Sharks and the Sky Zones. Radio, the next part of the video, they're the scores out of the way. What you might want to know about is some extras. So what else do I need to know about these goggles? What might help you give the right information to make that right critical decision so you can get the right pair of goggles for you? And the first thing we're going to talk about is batteries. So with the Fat Sharks, you actually get an amazing, I can't believe it's not here. I thought I have everything prepped, bear with me. So back on board, I found it now, back on board with the batteries. What you actually get when you're recording with the Fat Sharks is you get one of these, it takes 18650. So you slide these batteries in, you're going to have to buy these separately. You put them in and then you should get a fair bit of runtime off putting this. It plugs in on the side of your goggles and you sit it in this little strap right here. It sits on the side of your head. These batteries are great. They're fantastic. I like how it runs off 18650s. I think that's brilliant, but it is going to be a little bit heavier and you do need to go and source your own 18650s. This one, none of these really come with batteries. You don't need to do something about the batteries anyway. So these ones, they don't come with that. And you're going to need a charger too to charge up your own 18650s. So that's going to the side. The Sky Zones, well, they don't come with any battery case or anything like that. But what they actually do come with is a long... I've got to get more prep. Where is this one? Radio, I found this one. So what you get when you get the Sky Zones is actually you don't get a battery case like this one. You actually just get a battery lead and you sit this in your pocket. It can take a huge voltage range, which is something the Fat Sharks can't do. I think they're a 2 or a 3S, where this one can take like a 2 to possibly even a 6S or something. You plug your batteries in and then uh, plug your battery and sit your battery in the pocket. It means that weight's not on your face and you can power it off an old drone battery or something like that. So I really, really like that solution. And it's very similar to the Onways. They can take a 2 or 3 or a 4S, so the voltage range isn't quite as high as this one, but uh, the battery goes on the back of the head, and it's a very similar little cable. This one just runs out to the side and sits in the back. So in the battery department, regardless, you're going to have to buy a battery for all of these. You know, whether you want to get 18650s, get your own charger, whether you want to sit a battery in your pocket, and you can use an old drone battery of any size with this one, or whether you want to get an old drone battery or whatever the battery is and plug it in at the back of your head, you know, that's something that you need to consider. Moving on, let's talk about the uh, the screen ratios. This goes in the overview. We've got four by threes. Both of these are 16 by nine. So are you gonna have a box image when it comes to like the old school TVs or are you gonna be using 16 by nine? And I'm gonna give a preference which might be unpopular. What do you think? I actually prefer the 16 by nine, but I know traditionally, most people preferred 4x3s, but nowadays there's a lot more 16x9 cameras. I've flown with so many FPV goggles out there, and I really do prefer the 16x9 flight footage anyway. Now, this one is pretty important, and this is where Fat Shark smashes it. You get two high quality antennas if you're going to get the Fat Sharks, because you get a Fat Shark uh, circular polarized antenna, and you also get a patch antenna. So that is brilliant. I know they're a lot more expensive than the others, but at least you get these antennas included. I'm very happy with these antennas. I think they work well, they give you good reception, and have Having good reception and having good antennas is critical to your FPV experience. Now these Sky Zones on the other hand, the antennas that they give you, these that you come with these are just two little dipole pieces of junk. Take them off, throw them in the bin. They're not what you want to put on here and I'm going to say for the money that you save, so I know they're about 30 or $40 cheaper than the Fat Sharks, do yourself a favor, I'll put some antenna links down below. Go buy some two Pagodas or a Pagoda and a patch, like the triple feed patch is also good. Go check that out because that's going to upgrade this thing massively. Do yourself a favor, I wish Skyzone, if you're watching this, please ship with some better antennas. They can be super cheap, you could put I'm sure the company like that could, you know, just put two in there for like 10 bucks or whatever it is. Antennas are cheap, they should be better on these ones. So do yourself a favor, if you pick up the Sky Zones, go upgrade the antennas. And then the Onways, they're kind of in the middle. They come with a patch antenna, which is garbage, I don't really like, I don't think it works very well. But they also come with the original Onway antenna, which I am a huge fan of. It's worked very well in the past. I don't think it's the greatest antenna, but it's definitely not bad. So I give the antennas probably I don't know, the, this, this antenna is midpoint, you know, because you're going to use one of them, you still want to upgrade and get a patch. The Fat Sharks ones are fantastic, and the Sky Zones, well, they just give you two junk dipoles. Do yourself a favor, go buy some other ones if you get the Sky Zones. Right, and the next thing I want to talk about before we're just about to go out to the field, we're going to just talk about customer service and also some of the other little features that you might not notice or the nuances between these three goggles, and then we'll see what the other pilots think. We'll put them on their face, pack after pack after pack, find out which what do they like about them, which one would they choose if they had to. And the first thing I want to talk about is modules. On the Fat Sharks, on the Attitude V5, you can replace the modules. So if your module burns out or uh, 
you might want to use something like a rapid fire, which is going to add like another 150 or another $200 to that. But if you want to put in one of those fancy pants, new modules, you can do that. So there's that option there, which I think is great, but it's also going to mean it's a lot more money. Some people might be more inclined to want to see if they're going to spend big bucks. Well, why not spend big and get some HDOs or something? But look, it is definitely a nice feature being able to swap you and put your new modules in with the Attitude V5s. That doesn't happen when it comes to uh, these two right here. They're both stuck with the modules that they're built with, even though I've got to say, the reception, I don't know why you would want to upgrade, the reception on the Sky Zones is absolutely top notch. Another point to talk about, depending on which one you get, uh, the O2Xs have a front camera and they can do 3D functionality in terms of where you can split the signal up and get two signals from two transmitters. So if you did want to do that, that's where uh, these bad boys can do something a little bit special. That doesn't happen on the O2Cs, but another one is both of these two have head trackers. So if you want to get into a plane and fly around or you can do some stuff where you look, I'll put another link up there or in the description where you look around, you can get the camera to move where your head is facing. That doesn't happen with the attitudes. And then finally, the last one when it comes to the fan and the battery plug, well, this one has an on off switch. So that's something a lot of people want. You can hold a button down, turns it off and on. The Fat Sharks, uh, they don't have an on off switch and neither do the Onways. And also when it comes to the fan, you've got this really annoying little balance plug right here. That's where you've got to plug the fan in. That part kind of sucks. A lot of people don't like that. They tend to break their batteries. I've got to say the fan in the Sky Zones is super powerful. Or it's really quick, really responsive. You just press the button on the side, it starts up. It's got its on off switch, but it's also a little bit noisier than the others. You can really hear it sucking the air out so you're not getting a foggy, foggy footage, I should say. But uh, yeah, you can hear it, but it's very quick to turn off. And then the on my fan, look, they've also got a button to turn the fan on and off but it's not quite as powerful. And then the last part before we go out to the field, flight around, let's talk about a big one. Let's talk about customer service. You're about to drop two to $300 on a pair of goggles. You wanna make sure if something goes wrong, how covered are you? How likely are you that something goes wrong? What do these companies actually do? What is their policy? So on the screen, I don't know how I'm gonna edit this in, but yeah, I wrote them an email from my private email that these companies have never heard of before. And I wrote them and I think I pretty much said something along the lines of like, look, I wanna buy your goggle. And I copied and pasted the same email to each one of those each one of these companies, Fat Shark, Sky Zone, Longway. I want to buy your goggle. What can you tell me about the warranty? What happens if something breaks? All that sort of stuff. And I've got to say, the responses were all pretty good. Now, the first company to get back to me, it was the same day. I sent it about lunchtime Australia. So I don't know, look, maybe that could be different depending on which, where these companies are based because the uh, Sky Zones actually got back to me, I think it was in like 40 minutes or the same day. So a very, very quick response on there. And they pretty much said that uh, they've got a one year warranty on the Sky Zones. And if something really goes wrong, you can ship them back. And if it's under warranty, they'll replace the parts and all that sort of stuff. Fat Sharks, they took an extra day to respond, but I know Fat Shark customer service is definitely top notch. Their warranty goes for two years and you can take them to a service center to get them repaired or they might have a replacement program if it's under that, but yeah, they can do that. And then finally, the third one to respond, which I think was two days later, was the Onways. And uh, they said that they can either send you out parts if you're happy to do that and the parts are free if it's under warranty, or you can either send it back and their office is in Hong Kong. If you wanna send it to them and then they can do the repairs there. So all three companies, I've gotta say, did respond pretty quickly. I just used the email that was listed on their websites when you wanna go and buy a pair of these, so on Fat Shark, Sky Zones, or Onways. And I'm gonna say, Fat Shark, in terms of personal experience, I've never had to replace any of my goggles. I can only talk about, I guess, the response in this email and also what I've heard. I know Fat Shark does an outstanding job. I know personally people who have, you know, something's happened to their goggles, they've contacted Fat Sharks and it seems to be pretty good. And that's, they've got a lot of service centers in your country. Sky Zone, I'm relatively unheard of in terms of like, I don't know too many people who've had issues with them and I don't think enough people fly and have enough data to make an assumption. They responded pretty quickly, uh, you know, within the first day, whereas the other ones took one day and two day. It seems they have a warranty program Program. So look, I can't say too much more than, look, they responded to the email and there seems to be those programs. And the Onways, I also know, uh, I've heard a lot of good things about them as well. So I know personally somebody who wrote away and they wrote back to them and sent them over the parts and they did the repair themselves when something broke. It was like a cheap part. I think it cost them like 10 bucks or something. But look, I'll put their responses towards the back of this video anyway, tacked onto the end. Stay tuned right to the end if you want to see that where exactly what I wrote to them and you can see their exact response. Now let's do it. Let's jump out to the field. And this is another important one because look, everybody has different preferences and I do want to know what do you think and have you tried some of these and what were your thoughts? We're going to go out to the field 
we're gonna put them on some pilot's heads. I'm gonna ask them some questions like comfort, like leakage, reception, usability, you know, some of these parts, and we can get their impressions. And then a big one, if they had to, which one would they pick? So that's it, let's do it. Go have some fun in the field and uh, help you guys make the decision to get this right. So let's do it, have some fun in the field, fly around with these, pack after pack after pack. It took quite a while to film all this because I had to track down individual pilots and do it all. So you'll see us jumping from different locations, but let's do it. Go have some fun in the field in three, two, one. Alrighty, Tony, so we've got three pairs of goggles all around the same price. Sky Zones, Onways, Fat Sharks, so yep. the O2Xs, the V1Ss, and the V5s of the Attitudes. What I want you to do, quick pack on each of them, and then I want you to summarize and tell me which one you'd pick if you had to only purchase one set of goggles. Okay, these these screens are great. Very, very clear. Very nice, comfortable fit on the face. Yeah, they don't look anywhere near as clear as the uh, the previous goggles. So Definitely, this is less clear than the other ones, and they don't fit on my face anywhere near as well. Uh, certainly, my first impression is the screens are very similar size, but the clarity doesn't seem to be anywhere near as good. I'd say the receiver on, on the sky zone is probably a bit better than this. Clear screen, uh, instant difference. This is a taller screen. The other ones must have had a more 16.9. Mm -hmm. This looks more like a 4.3. Super clear picture. Um, and if I'm, if I'm rating the three at the moment, the sky zones and this have got probably an equally clear picture. Bit of break up around the back of that tree. If I have a personal preference at the moment, I think the... Um, the Sky Zones have got a better picture and a better aspect ratio. Yeah, the reception on the Sky Zone, I had no issues at all, but I'm getting a bit of break up on this one. These are comfortable on my face. Alrighty, Tony, I'm gonna ask you a couple of quick questions and I just want you to tell you which one you'd pick, all right? So, comfort on your face. Sky Zones? Sky Zones. All right, uh, light leakage. Uh, fat Shark. Okay. Uh, screen clarity. Sky Zones. Screen brightness. Sky Zones. Reception. Sky Zones. Uh, customer support. Ooh, fat Shark. Okay. Uh, comfort. Sky Zones. And you've got 300 bucks to spend. Which one would you spend your money on? Sky Zones. <laughs> <laughs> Rough stuff. Radio Jono, you saw how this works with Tony. What I want, and this is going to be great because you haven't tried any of these goggles. Like Tony's done, he's helped me out with some mm -hmm. of the reviews. You've been a little bit sick lately, so we're back here today. Three goggles: Sky Zone O2Xs, Fat Shark Attitudes, and the Omway V1Ss. What I want you to do: a quick pack on each of them. I'll get you some of your thoughts through, and then I want to know which one, if you were coming into the hobby, would you drop three hundred bucks on? Ready? Yeah. Well, All this right. is the first time I've even actually like held them, looked at it. Yeah. God damn that can. Candy red looks good. <laughs> <laughs> it's full like Iron Man style. I feel like it just needs a bit of like gold flare in there and then all of a sudden and, I'm and Tony Stark, man. Ready to rock yeah. and roll. All right, let's do it. You ready to put them on your head and go for a spin? Yeah, for sure. Let's do it. My eyelashes are touching the bloody lenses. I don't even know if I can get a good focus on these guys. First thing, the diopters are just not quite in the right spot for my face, but um, you know, that's a face issue, not really a, uh, an issue with it. So uh, personal preference wise, it's going to be a no for me straight away. Um, the channel changing is slow as man. Light leakage is, is fine. There's no light coming in, but oh, whoa, I nearly hit a tree. <laughs> okay. I tilted my head up, not the quad up. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Oh. What God. happened Tony? What did you do? <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, man, these, do yeah. The diopter thing doesn't work for my face on these guys. Right, let's, why, they, why Tony's going to get Jono's one? Let's put your other, put the other goggles on. So we'll do Omways next. I want to see how they go compared to the old ones. Definitely not as good as the as the, as the Fat Sharks I just rolled. Yeah, the screen's definitely not as good as the Fat Sharks. Face fit is a bit better than the Fat Sharks. Like if we're going off the screen quality, um, these are coming in a clear loser. Oh god, that's so much better than the other two. Jeez, I think my face is just made for the Sky Zones. To be honest really? <laughs> as soon as i got these on the, the diopters are in focus like i haven't even adjusted them yet and they're already in a better spot um my eyelashes aren't rubbing on the screen like they were with fat sharks <laughs> and um there's less light leakage out the side personal preference on my face these are great. I'm feeling heat's more confident. I feel like I can actually fly my quad. Colors are nice and bright. The screen is huge, man. I'm a big fan of that 16 by nine. I like that wide screen. Yeah, very, very bright, very clear. Um, I can see a little bit of that candy red coming through the sides. They feel nicer. They actually fit my face good. The screens are nicer. They focus well. I know the Sky Zone OSD is just really quick at finding channels, really easy to use. Oh, oh there you go. You've I'll just get smashed it. it. 
<laughs> Go ahead, crash. Is that is that three crashes in three packs? <laughs> well, all I want is uh, you to tell me which one you prefer when I ask you these questions. Yeah. Okay. Comfort on your face. Comfort on my face. Sky zones. Uh, picture quality. Picture quality. Oh man, that's a, it's a close one between the fatties and the sky zones. Um, uh, cause I can't get those in focus, I have to go with those guys. Okay. Uh, <laughs> light leakage. Light leakage. Um, uh, I'm actually going to say that fat sharks probably had a little bit less light leakage. I can get see a little bit of red through those guys. Yep. But um, fit, fit on face way better. Okay. Right, customer support. Yeah. So customer support. To be honest, I've never had to like call customer support for anything before. Like um. Pretty much I've been using my Sky Zones for like two years and I haven't had any issues with them. They're old as, they keep running, so All right. um, yeah, I've never never really had to deal with them. Okay, uh, responsiveness of the OSD? Oh, responsiveness of the OSD. Sky Zones have just had everyone else beat for ages. Reception? Reception wise, um, uh, it would probably be pretty, um, oh, either these guys or those guys, pretty close. I'm edging towards the Sky Zones though. Uh, and final one, you got 300 bucks. You can only buy one pair of goggles. You're coming into the hobby. What one do you want to get? Oh, Rate them. Rate them? Rate them from best to worst. Okay, best what's, to worst. Okay, what's third place? Third place. You know what? Because my my eyelashes touch the screen, I hate the fat sharks, man. They're okay. going to be third on that okay. one. And then we're going to go second place for the Omways. And first place has got to be the uh, the nice candy red guys there, the Sky Zones. Right. They, they look good. They fit nice. They, they're responsive. Delicious. Yeah, they all tick right. all the boxes for me. Nice. Thanks, mate. Radio out here in the field We're with the boy Granger. We're about to do the three goggle test, put the sky zones on ways, and uh, what else? We got the fat sharks fat shark. on your face. Now, this is exciting because you haven't tried any of these, have no, you? No, I haven't. All right, so let's do it. Same principle three packs, three pairs of goggles, and find out his impressions and what he chooses. They seem like a mixture of 4, 3, and 16, 9, which the picture is really clear. I really enjoy the comfort. That's the one thing I noticed with the attitudes. They do have really good, comfy foam that they put on. I'm not getting any light leakage. It's it's hugging my face very nicely. The screen size is actually perfect for me, to be honest. It's a picture quality. The clarity is really nice. Sky zones. Now, I should probably say, I fly fat sharks every day of my life, so I'm probably a little biased towards fat shark. Uh, these are different, and it's not a bad different. I do... I, I Look, normally I don't like 16x9 because when I take my goggles off, my I go cross-eyed, and it's just weird, but... These, the more I use them, the more comfortable my eyes sort of get with them. The OLED screen is definitely a little bit better on the Fat Sharks. Something I really did like about these goggles is how fast you can change the channel. So if you're in a rush, you can just spam that button and you'll get on that channel in a second. Fat Sharks take a little while, you have to hold down that button and then uh, switch channels, which is a bit annoying. Well, yeah. Not getting any light leakage, just... On way time? On way time. Definitely different. The, the, the picture is straight away not as uh, clear as uh, the other ones. When I was looking at these sort of ghost branches I could see them a lot better on the other goggles. Because I got fat eyes, uh, basically it feels like the bottom foam are pushing up uh, on my eyes. These goggles are not bad though, so they are, these would be better in my opinion than the uh, Omway V1s. The screen size is the exact same as those uh, Sky Zones, the red Sky Zones. Um, but just the picture quality isn't there with the with them. I would much rather take the uh, Fat Sharks or the Sky Zones over this, just because of the comfortable factor. Right now, Granger, uh, you've flown all three around. I'm going to yeah. ask you a series of questions, and I want you to rate them for me. So, comfort on your face. Worst uh, or best? Worst. Second best. Best. Okay. Uh, screen size. Screen size. Fat Sharks best. Sky Zones second best and on ways. Okay. Clarity and picture image. Probably a tie between these two. Okay. And then this one. Okay, so you didn't like the on way? On ways. All right. Uh, accessibility or OSD menus, all that sort of stuff. Uh, the Sky Zones definitely because they have actually a, a screen readout on top and it, you just quick buttons and it's straight there. So. Okay. And, and then the Fat Sharks and then these. Okay. Uh, after sales support. Uh, I've heard lots of good things about Fat Shark. I've never had to deal with them myself, but they are really helpful towards some of my friends. Uh, the Omways, they're pretty good as well. I've heard some good things about them, but uh, I haven't heard anything about Sky Zone yet, so we'll just have to wait and see. You can pick one goggle, what one's it going to be? I'd probably use Fat Shark because I'm biased towards Fat Shark because I use 4x3 all the time and they're just nice and I'm used to them. And then second, if I was a newcomer, I would use Sky Zones because they're really easy to use and the picture quality is great and you just can't flaw them. Alright, and would you be using the Omways? No. 
definitely not. Sorry, on my. That's just they're not comparable to these. Radio. So there it is. Uh, there's my guide of what is the best FPV goggle you can get in 2019. And overall, I'm going to say, no matter which one of these goggles you get, you are going to have an amazing time. They're all very, very good goggles, coming in different price points. You know, 300, like two and a half, and closer to 200. You know, but no matter which one of these you get, you're still going to have an amazing time. These were my personal findings with the other pilots. What did you think of this video? What did you think of the breakdowns, the scores? Asking the other pilots, did you like this style of video? I know it was a little bit long. Longer, but I want UAV Futures, it's all about getting people flying, giving them the right information so they can make their right choice and FPV changed my life. I want you guys to experience it and have just as much fun as I do when I'm out flying and getting your goggles right is just one step closer to that. You need the best goggles you can get. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that anyway. But anyway, what do you guys think? Drop your comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, I'm gonna put it by my Patreon link down below as well. This is my job. This is what I do day in, day out. So if you wanna support me, if you wanna see more videos like that, go click on that link down below. It is very much appreciated. And finally, the big one, if you said, Stuart, what goggle would you pick? You can only have one to fly with between Fat Shark, Skies, and so normally what one would you be picking? And it's pretty clear, I think, and pretty obvious because you would have seen if you've been paying attention in all my other review videos recently. Since I got these, I've been using these daily. So these have become my daily drivers and the Skyzone O2Xs, or even if you wanted to get the O2Cs, they're even a little bit cheaper. An amazing pair of goggles for the price. They beat the other two as far as I'm concerned and just have a whole lot of features. And I wanna to say too, if you've got another pair of these goggles and you feel differently, that doesn't mean that you're wrong. These are just different opinions, different findings, and this is, uh, this is what I'm coming up with if you ask me what one would you pick to fly it would be these bad boys right here so anyway that's it subscribe for more fpv related content hope you enjoyed the video took a long time to make uh other than that uh subscribe i said all that part i'm going to link all these goggles down below as well as their full review videos you can go watch that up there i didn't include the e-sheen whatever the 200ds or whatever they are they're not in the same league as these goggles and i've had those and i didn't really want to use them too much like yeah they were an okay goggle but i think these ones are much better so i don't know there's my pick other than that subscribe for more fpv related content and and as always, happy flying. I oh mean, my mouth is like a bit sore. I definitely need a big drink of water or something. That's a lot of talking. Anyway, oh, and I'll put the emails I sent that should pop up at the end of this video too, so you can check out what they said for their customer service. Anyway, happy flying.